I'm going to tie an Adams Trude, and I'm starting off with a size 12 dry fly hook in the vise. And the thread that I've got is an 8 aught gray. I'll start this at the three quarter mark or so and take enough wraps to secure it, and then I can trim the trim the tag. The tail for this is a moose mane, and so I'm going to take uh, maybe six to eight of these fibers, and I'll primarily just harvest the the tip. So you can pull them off the hide, and usually get them fairly aligned. If you can't quite get it, you can set them in your stacker, and uh, and you'll align the tips. I'm going to trim these back and get a manageable bit to work with here. I'm going to measure it out to be about a hook shank in length. And then I'll tie that down to uh, about the barb in the, the hook and then I'll bring my thread wraps up so I've got a uniform underbody. The dubbing that I'm going to use is actually a muskrat, uh, but you can use a dry fly dubbing just in a, a gray. And so I've got a patch of muskrat here. I'm going to use the, uh, this gray uh, fur down at the bottom, and that's how I'll remove it. I'll pull it straight from the bottom so that I can try to minimize the guard hairs that I catch in there. But you'll want to go through and inspect it just to make sure that you've got them all out. You can apply wax if you'd like, but this uh, usually dubs on pretty well. I'm not going to do a whole lot with this body. It's going to be pretty uniform in size. And the wing that I'm going to use is a cap tail. And so when I take this off, I'm going to take it off at a 90 degree angle. And that will align the tips. But I am going to run it through the stacker as well. And this will make sure that I've got as many as the, of the tips aligned as possible. It's kind of a wavy material, so you're not going to get it all perfectly aligned. I do want to pinch the very tip of it, though, and then run my fingers through to thin it out. So any of the really short stuff will will fall out and that's so I don't add too much bulk to the to the front of this pattern when I tie it in. So I'm going to measure this out to uh, about the uh, bend in the hook here, maybe a little bit beyond. I've seen some that go all the way to the tail uh, so it's just a, a matter of of preference there. One thing that I am going to do is I'm going to wrap this with a pinch wrap similar to how I tie a, a Mickey Finn, the bucktail on it We'll bring the thread up through. I'll take a wrap around and pinch, and then I'll pull straight down so that it makes a loop on top of the hook. And the reason I do that is if you tie it straight on top, it'll want to drape to either side, which nothing wrong with that. I just want to make sure that I've got that wing sitting right on right on top. So again, maybe just a, a bit of preference there. And so it's sitting right on top as opposed to, to drooping down. Got a little bit longer than, than I'd like it, but I think that uh, it's going to be serviceable. So then the, the Adams bit of it is using both a furnace and grizzly hackle. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll peel back and expose that stem where the hackle fibers start to be uniform to size and I'll tie these in and then my grizzly hackle do the same thing to this
and I'll leave that with enough room to tie in everything behind the eye. You can wrap these in together or separate. I'm going to take them separate and the only reason there is uh, I find sometimes when I wrap them together they uh, they double up one another and they bind down some of those fibers from the one before it. So uh, I'll take them separate and just be careful not to do that same thing when I bring them through this way. So I'll wrap my grizzly hackle up. I don't know that sequencing matters if you do the grizzly or furnace hackle first. When you take the second one through, however, I'll wiggle it so that again it doesn't bind down uh, some of those uh, hackles that you wrapped in first. And then when I get to my thread again, I'll tie it off. And when I make these wraps, each wrap I try to move back towards the tail so you don't crowd the eye. And then once I have that in, now I can build out a little thread head here. And then I can whip finish. And trim. You can put a drop of head cement on if you'd like. But that is an Adams Trude.